Welcome to the Relationship Recovery Podcast, hosted by Jessica Knight, a certified life coach who specializes in narcissistic and emotional abuse. This podcast is intended to help you identify manipulative and abusive behavior, set boundaries with yourself and others, and heal the relationship with yourself so you can learn to love in a healthy way. My name is Jessica Knight. Thank you for being here today. This episode is going to touch on our thoughts and the importance of paying attention to them. And so if you're on, you know, Instagram, I'm sure you've seen a million people post about you're not your thoughts, you're in control of your thoughts, you have more control of your thoughts than what you think. You know, there's a million ways of saying it out there. And for somebody in a situation like this, you really don't have too much control over your thoughts. You are definitely more in an addiction than health. And taking control of your thoughts can be really challenging. But through doing work on yourself with yourself, and then beginning to calm down some of the noise that's up there, so you can begin to see the reality of what's here, you'll begin to develop some space in between the thought and the action. So instead of reaching, you know, the second you think about them reaching for the phone, checking their social media, checking your own social media to see if they looked at it, looking up reasons for why they do the things that they do, whatever that might be, there's space there. And it's really important that you pay attention to it. When we don't pay attention to the space in our mind and what we say to ourselves and what we think, we end up feeling like there's no other choice. That's what keeps us in these situations. It's what keeps us in these relationships is because we don't spend the time to look at what we say to ourselves. But the way you talk to yourself really matters. And it's going to matter even more the further as you get away from the relationship and the more that you heal. And so if you are struggling with the way that you speak to yourself and you need a resource, my recommendation is that you start purging out all your thoughts. So literally writing out every single thing in your head and then write back to each one. After you've had a break, after you took a walk, don't go right from he's the most attractive person in the world to he's ugly. (laughs) That's not what we're doing. If the thought is he's the most attractive person in the world, I'm never going to feel chemistry like this. Take a break, come back to it, and maybe write back chemistry or not, he treats me like shit. Be realistic with yourself. This is just one way to begin to get control over your mind. But it can be really helpful, especially when you feel and you can tell that you're not really and truly being honest with yourself. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on Instagram at Emotional Abuse Coach or by emailing me at jessica at emotionalabusecoach.com. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.